Once the storm passes, you have 48 hours to clear your sidewalk and snow of ice or of snow and ice. And one of the hottest new trends in snow removal is high-tech ice melt. Tonight, Angela, Kelloland's Angela Kennedy explains how this new product is made. We all know drinking and driving don't mix, but this mix of high-tech salt contains a hint of booze. The byproduct of rum and vodka. That byproduct is used to sweeten white salt so it melts ice at a lower temperature. When we started 20 years ago, number one, we didn't use any ice melt. We just plowed the lot. As time has gone on, we've gone through using sand, we've gone through using rock chips, and then we finally came to a, a product that would get rid of the ice. But the technology in the salt isn't the only thing that's changed. It's also the timing of the application. Basically, just laying down some salt before it happens. Uh, it'll help treat the concrete and the asphalt so then it doesn't quite turn to ice right away. They're actually taking the salt granule and they're going out and pre-treating their lots before the storm. And the idea behind that is, is that um, it won't allow that bond to form between the, the freezing rain and the parking lot. That means better traction for snow plows and a cleaner parking lot in the end. And it's important for every business because nobody wants anybody to slip and fall at, at their establishment. Van Lacken says the rum-colored salt is pet friendly and melts ice down to 30 below. Now, the only question is the timing of the storm. With the rain coming in, if it's freezing rain, then we'll be out salting later tonight or early in the morning, depending on when that hits. In Mitchell, Angela Kennecke, Kettleband News. Now, snow Technologies also sells a special snow plow blade that's made out of recycled tires. They say the rubber blade does a great job of snow removal without damaging the parking lot.